That looks so clean, bro. Wow. So that's everything inside the box, very compact, very nice. There's not much really anything more to say, they only come with the grips and the necessary dongle and USB type A to USB type C. The grips are pretty grippy so that's nice. They come with PTFE skates and be sure to remove the film to have a smoother experience. And that's pretty much everything that comes with the mouse. Let's go ahead and focus on the mouse now and its actual features. So let's start from what we can see first. It's probably the looks and the colors. I got the black variation over here. They also have silver and pink variation. But I think the color black will be the one that will fit my setup the most. So I went with black. And they also have the AX5. They have the AX5 Pro and the Pro Max variation which is... The Pro Max is the more expensive but it also has more features of course. I got the Pro Max variation over here. Even though it's the most expensive, it's fine because you can use my discount code MIGSS in the whole mini XPC store. Link is in the description. And a little disclaimer by the way, this mouse is sent to me by mini XPC. But that won't change my review of this mouse. I will be telling you guys my honest opinion and my honest review of this mouse. Now going back to the features of this mouse, let's go ahead and get started with the clicks right away and the sounds of this mouse. So this has the TTC light flicker a hundred million times and here's how they sound like. Now I think they sound amazing, I don't have any problems with the sound they made. You can kind of hear the magnesium shell a little bit whenever you click. And yeah, pretty much an amazing sounding mouse. But how about the feeling though? The feeling as well is very responsive and snappy. I really like it. There is very, very minimal post travel. They are very instant, amazing feeling. And they are also pretty consistent throughout the mouse. Now for the scroll over here, I really like the rubberized scroll and texture they did. It's really not slipping off my fingers, really amazing scroll wheel. It also has very defined steps, I like it. It's also not too tight, not too loose, it's just the perfect scroll wheel. They're also pretty easy to spam, the middle click, really nice, I like it. And for the side buttons now, they're also pretty snappy, I like it. There is also minimal post travel. All of the clicks pretty much sounds and feels amazing. I have no problems with them. Now let's go ahead and proceed to the weight of this mouse. Now before we proceed though, I want to point out the dongle. When we unboxed it, I was trying to look for the dongle because the only thing that came was this USB type A and two USB type C and I thought this was a dongle at first but it's only an adapter. As you can see, it's like a type C to type A and this is where you plug the dongle. So I was trying to look for it. I thought they forgot to ship it, but it's just under here, bro. So as you can see, there's like a little gap here. You can push that out, this whole bottom skate, and there it is. So yeah, we definitely need to remove this before we measure the weight or else we're also going to be measuring the dongle, which I don't think it's included at the weight of the mouse or it shouldn't be. So yeah, here's the dongle, pretty simple. Anyways, back to the weight, here we go. They claim that the Pro Max and the Pro variation comes in around 53 grams, so let's see. 54.8, so not very far from the 53 grams they claim. And 54.8 grams, that is pretty light. Now that's for the weight, let's go ahead and proceed to the shape. Now as you can see, it already resembles the super light a lot. When I first saw this mouse, oh it's like a magnesium super light. But the shape is actually pretty close but it's a little different, it's not the exact copy. Comparing it to the super light, it is a little bit smaller. The hump over here is a bit lower on the AX5 over here. And the back hump is quite close but it is just a tiny slightly bit 
lower. I'm gonna show you guys the picture so you can actually see what I'm talking about. But the difference is not that big. So if you really like the super light shape, I can see you liking this mouse as well. Now from the filling though, I have an 18 by 8 centimeter hand and it does feel amazing for the size of my hand. My grip is kind of like a claw grip but a little bit of a palm grip. It's kind of weird but I do use the hump at the back a lot here like a claw grip and it does feel amazing. I think the hump is really just the perfect size. It's not too high, it's not too low. I like it. I use it to gain more control over the mouse and this, this mouse has it. Amazing. I really like the hump of it. So if you claw grip, I would recommend this shape. But if you fingertip, I would actually also recommend it. It is pretty lightweight and you have a lot of back space to work with over here. So really nice fingertip mouse as well. Now for the palm grip users out there, I can also see this being a good mouse for you. Very comfortable, I have no problems with it. Now some of you might have concerns with the holes, but for me, I do not find it annoying or uncomfortable. They're not irritating or anything. And I actually think it kind of looks good. And you know me, I kind of sweat a lot, but the magnesium shell, it's kind of cold to the touch and the holes as well help a lot with reducing the sweatiness of my palm. So I kind of like the holes. And the sides as well don't have holes, so it is pretty solid over here. A lot of mouses have some holes over here and some people do not find it comfortable, but this one has a solid shell on the side at least. That's mostly the main uncomfortability when there's holes over here at the side. But yeah, they decided to seal it off and yeah, I like that decision. It's more on the medium side for sure, but I can see a lot of people with small hands or even large hands be comfortable with this mouse. Anyways, enough with the shape. Let's go ahead and proceed to the durability. Now, it's made out of magnesium as I told you, so it is very durable. It's made out of metal. There is no creaking, I cannot get it to flex. Really solid, amazing build quality. Now for the battery it has, it has a 500 milliamp hour battery. They claim it can go to 130 hours on Bluetooth mode, so you can switch the Bluetooth mode down here. And for wireless, it's about 100 hours. So that is amazing. And I'm assuming that's also on 8,000 hertz. And speaking of 8,000 hertz, the polling rate of this mouse can go up to 8,000 hertz. It has a 3395 sensor, very responsive polling rate, very responsive sensor, amazing and responsive clicks as well. But how do they actually feel like in game? Let's go ahead and plug it in. Turning it on, wireless mode. Now for the software, I have it over here. So I have the AX5, the Pro Max driver download. Here we go. It's that easy to download. Uh, English, yes, thank you. Polling rate, 8,000 hertz. Let's go. And put a sleep time, angle snapping, motion sync, ripple control, amazing. Debounce time, I'll set it to 0 milliseconds. Let's see if it will double click, but I don't think so. You can set it to 2 millimeters and 1 millimeter, so either one. We also have key bindings, macros, performance, 1600 DPI, and DPI effect. What is this? Does it have RGB? It's just a green light, so yeah, I'm gonna keep that off. Let's go ahead and test its 8000 hertz polling rate. Okay, it's getting up to 6300. We need to do something about that. Oh! Okay, I got it to 8000 hertz. What did I do? I turned off motion sync. I'm on 7900, 7900. Yeah, I'm pretty. Uh, this is pretty consistent now. This is much better. According to the Razer polling rate tester, it's more consistent and it can reach 8000 hertz more with the motion sync off. I'm gonna be keeping my motion sync off, I guess. So we can actually play on 8000 hertz according to Razer. Pretty accurate 8000 hertz. Now, let's game with it. Five kills, 
remaining. Okay. Sky's dead. Now after playing with the AX5 Pro Max for a bit, it felt amazing. The aiming experience was very smooth and very responsive. I really really like it. I also got some amazing aces, amazing clips as you saw. The shape is amazing, very comfortable for me. The clicks as well, very instant. As soon as I clicked it, the gunshots fired. The weight is also pretty lightweight. I like it. So if you really like the super light shape, and do you want something a little bit lighter that's also capable of 8000 hertz polling rate and also considering it's only $99 when you compare it to the other competitors that is a pretty good price and you can even get it for a lower price if you use my discount code MIGSS be sure to use it in the whole mini XPC store for some discount link is in the description Again, these are all my honest opinions, but yeah, I really like the mouse. I would definitely recommend it. It's an amazing mouse. It definitely won't hold you back. You, you cannot blame this mouse when gaming. But yeah, that'll be it for my review of the M Chose AX5 Pro Max. Thank you so much for watching this video. I pray and hope that you learned something from this video. I'll go and see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to stay grateful. Remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.